Let's start by teaching you our workflow. Take a memo. Y yeah After graduating from college, I spent two years working for an abusive company until recently. It's my first day here. Fresh start. However, I already know maybe I picked the wrong company. Of all people, why do I have to work with her? Let me explain a bit more about this. Wakana was an upperclassman of mine back in high school. Her pretty face and long limbs attracted everyone regardless of gender. We were both in the brass band. Our instruments were different though. I'd say I was lucky because we took the same route for our walk home. It helped me become close to her. My feeling for her kept growing little by little, day by day. And even more every time my hand accidentally touched hers and the evening sun squinched her eyes. It took me a lot of time to gather the courage to confess my love to her. Right before she'd retired the band, I told her to see me. And I returned home, practically vomiting in sadness with every step I took. I haven't moved on from her yet. I'm so pathetic. And it makes me uncomfortable to see her. I'll stay away from her as much as possible. Despite my thought... <laughs> That's how it works. I'm seeing one of my clients. Come with me. <gasps> I'm your mentor. We'll work together. <laughs> oh, okay. She's forgotten that I confessed to her? Or forgotten me? It makes me sad, but maybe it's better than feeling uncomfortable. I spent the next couple of weeks visiting her clients with her. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! We've come to a pub near the office. We were supposed to go straight home after visiting a client, but she asked me out for a drink because she wanted to know me better. At least, that's what she told me. So, Ryoya, why did you change jobs? Your previous company was a major enterprise. I bet your paycheck was pretty good. Well, I couldn't get along with the guys there. One time, I told them to quit slacking off. They started blaming it on me every time they messed up. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't want to talk about it. No, it's okay. No worries. <laughs> talk to me anytime you need help. <gasps> about work, relationships with our co-workers, and personal stuff too. I'm your mentor. That's what I'm for. Thanks. She's reliable. Just like she was back then. The seventh mug of beer seemed like a good idea. It was really great back in high school. Schoolwork and the band. It was fulfilling. Now I'm a workaholic. Some of my friends are already married and I'm single. This is unfair. Wakana... You shouldn't drink anymore. Here, have some water. Thanks. She easily got depressed back then, too. Yoya, you've never changed. Huh? I mean, you have changed, but you're still as sweet and serious as you were back then. You're a fast learner and attentive. I always respected you for that. It kind of comforts me for some reason. You've never changed at all, either. And it makes me uncomfortable. Huh? I had a major crush on you. You were really reliable, but clumsy sometimes. You were cool and cute at the same time. I really liked you for that. Uh... Don't get me wrong. I'm really glad that we can chat like this again. But you're acting like you never know I had feelings for you. Because... Um, sorry. I'm just making you uncomfortable. Forget it. Uh, no, I won't. I had a crush on you too. So, you did too. Hmm, okay. Huh? You're the one who's acting like you have no clue. I know you remember rejecting me. Don't lead me on unless you want to give me the wrong idea. Uh, rejecting you? Hold on. You rejected me. What? No, I didn't. Why would I? I had feelings for you. I'm not your type, am I? Uh, what? How do you figure that? <laughs> Apparently, there was a big misunderstanding. One day, when we were students... Wakana, I like you. Thank you. I like you too. We're both the band's members. Oh, so she doesn't like me as a girl would. I thought she rejected me just like this. However, a few days before that... We're on a break, but I want to practice. Ryoya! Okay, so you prefer small ones. Yeah. 
I wouldn't say I like big ones. They kind of make me uncomfortable. You know, I'm not that tall to deal with them. <laughs> he doesn't like tall girls? Then I heard you say that. I thought you were into small girls. I faintly remember that. No, the boy suggested to me that I play trombone. I was playing trumpet, remember? We were talking about instruments, not girls. Oh, yeah, trombones are big. When you told me you liked me, I thought you were telling me we'd stay friends. <laughs> so we both had the wrong ideas. <laughs> Actually, I had trouble moving on from you after that. I tried hard to repress my feelings for you. Now I know I didn't have to at all, and it was a misunderstanding. I don't know what to do. I know. It's been almost a decade. I still want to date her, but we weren't in touch for seven years. She might think I'm a playboy or something if I just confess to her right here. <laughs> Why don't we start anew as friends? I'd be really glad if we could become close again. Uh, yeah, sure. After that... You did a good job. I bet he liked your proposal. You can visit him alone next time. Thanks. Her attitude at work has never changed. We hang out together on the weekends. Oh, hey! Can I check out this shop? Sure. I want to take a look around too. <laughs> She's mature. Hmm. It still makes me nervous speaking with her. She looks fine. Like I thought, maybe I'm not a dating option for her anymore. You're good at getting over things quickly. Huh? I bet this is a date only to me and not to you. I'm thinking I'm not a dating option for you. Oh, no, no, you are. Actually, I can't even look you in the eye. Oh, I had the wrong idea again. Oh, uh, is it now? Did I tell her my feelings right here? But I don't think we are as close as we were back then. Maybe I should wait a bit more. Mm. She's my first crush and I've never been attracted to anyone else. I have zero romantic experience. I don't know when to risk at all. One day, we go to a musical instrumental store. I didn't know you're interested in guitar. Well, I was in the brass band. I'm into music, why not? I didn't really take the plunge and start learning it, but that'd be great if you could teach me. Sure thing, anytime. The other day, she told me that she'd been a member of a band back in college. I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar. What kind of songs do you want to play? Hmm, I like most of the trends too, but I like classic ones and ones from the US too. So your taste has never changed since high school. I like Western music and play it a lot. I'll pick out some easy ones for you. Yeah, this is how we talked back in high school. We became close through music. We leave the store after I bought a guitar. Uh, sorry. I forgot to buy what I wanted. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, no rush. She goes back into the store. I want to play guitar with her someday. I'll practice hard. I run my fingers over the guitar case. The excitement that has been repressed at the bottom of my heart this whole time is bubbling up. Ryoya? Ikateru. One of my previous co-workers talks to me from behind. He's part of the reason why I quit. Seems like you want to become popular with chicks. You're so shallow. Music is not a tool for you, you know. You have the wrong idea. I was in the brass band back in middle school. I love music. Huh, <laughs> be honest. You just want girls to pay attention to you. <clears throat> Jeez, I can't believe I'm having another conversation with this jerk. What a pain. I should just let him talk. He'll leave soon. Ryoya, sorry for the wait. <laughs> Wakana, do you know her? We went to college together. We were both members of the music club. <laughs> we were more than that. Don't be silly. I rejected you many times. I turned you down every time you asked me out. This is my first time seeing you after graduating from college. I know it's because you are overly shy. Don't worry. I'm mature. I gave you a chance to grow up. And this is what I got for being patient? He used to work with me. He was really useless. He's gonna learn guitar so that you'll pay more attention to him. No, that's not. You'll regret it if you hang out with him. Pick me. 
You're wrong. We work together now. He's a fast learner. He's competent. He's pretending to be hardworking because he's new. You don't know him well. He's... Yeah? What do you know about him? <sighs> we went to high school together. I knew him very well back then, too. He's become mature and really cool. But he's as sweet and serious as he was. Wakana, he's just making himself look cooler than he is. Enough! Wha what's wrong with you? I don't mind you being attracted to her. But don't cause her trouble. She's a special person to me. Leave her alone! Oh. Y you'll regret this! Ikateru spits the words out, wincing his face in anger. Now he's left, but we still feel uncomfortable because everyone's staring at us. What's going on? Is everything all right? Uh... <laughs> Ryoya, did you mean what you told him? Actually, I've been in love with you the whole time. Oh. I've been holding myself back from confessing to you since we met at work. We weren't in touch for many years. I thought you'd think I was a playboy or something. You know what? I've been feeling the same way about you. I couldn't move on from my high school crush for seven years. <laughs> so, we drew apart again. I don't want to regret it ever again. So, I'll say it right here, right now. I like you. I want to spend more time with you and know you better. Why don't we make up for what we missed? I'm so glad to hear that. But I'm tall. Are you fine with that? It's never been an issue for me. I like you for who you are. Will you date me? Uh, yeah, sure. This is how we've become a couple. We took such a detour, but it helped our feelings grow. We keep everything about us a secret from our co-workers, so things are the same at work. Okay, let me show you how to play this part. Like this? Yeah, that's it. You've improved. We've moved in together. We spend as much time together as possible. We go to the musical instrumental store once in a while. Sometimes we run into Ikateru there, but we'll never get to speak to him because he'll run away as soon as he spots us. What a shame. Oh, it takes me back. We often practice together here. Yeah, we did. You confessed to me here, remember? Things went wrong and it caused me to have almost given up on you. But I'm glad I didn't. It didn't work out for us before, but I know it will this time. Will you stay beside me forever? Yeah, of course. I'll hold your hand tightly. Why don't we come here with our guitars next time? We can make new memories. Uh, yeah! Are there any places that hold memories for you? Sweet youth and bittersweet setback. It's wonderful to have memorable places. Feel free to share your memories with us.